Just too much for you and me. Avoiding my old guitar for a month Knowing you'd be in every song Guess I was Another liability all along and all I was trying to do was be enough But in the end, I guess be enough was just too much Oh, guess I'll do this alone it's my only option, I know Begged me to stay, but you don't Know that I'm better on my own And all I was trying to do was be enough But in Yes, being enough was just too much for you, for you. And now I'm stuck in my mind. Was it? Just too much for you and me. Avoid in my old guitar for a month, knowing you'd be in every song. Guess I was another liability all along. And all I was trying to do was be enough But in the end, I guess be enough was just too much
Hello, friends. Welcome. <laughs> Imagine if I started every stream by like, <laughs> with like a really intense, I don't know, like musical number. I'm sure that somebody does that out there somewhere. Because like, there are a lot of different types of streamers that do different things. Like there are like puppet streamers and stuff. So might fuck around and become a musical streamer, not as in playing music, but just instead of speaking, I will be singing everything. No, I'm actually not doing that. Um, I'm going to continue what I'm doing now. <laughs> uh, hello, this is a super special bonus stream that I decided to throw in because my plans got changed around. I was thinking about doing a bonus stream on Sunday, but I was like, nah, I'll do it today. It's my D&D game. Got moved around because I'm a nerd. Anyways, um, but hello. Um, hello, Lauren. Hello, Angel. Hello, Maya. Nightbot. My ride or die. Ride, ride or die. A ride and die? No, ride or die. It's not ride and die. That would be kind of dark. Um, hello, Nightbot. Um, and hello, Theo. Oh, my gosh. I just came from Theo's stream. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming by. Yeah, I was just about to say, aren't you going to go watch it carve in San Diego? But no, you're going to watch me play Pop Tropica. Thank you. Thank you. Um, also, thank you, Lauren. I can't believe it. Yeah, I'm almost at 150. Very close. I need three people to follow me. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I don't I don't know if I'm going to do anything for 150 because uh, it's like halfway point, you know, but um, very exciting stuff. But yeah, how's everybody doing? I am good. Had a pretty good day. Been pretty productive. By that I mean I've played two solitaire games, which is the perfect amount of solitaire games. Um, and I had summer rolls, which were really good. And I also went to the Asian supermarket, which I love. And I got some uh, yummy Asian food. So yeah, pretty, pretty good day for me. Yeah um yeah and i just saw theo play chess on his stream no idea what was happening because i don't know how chess works whatsoever um but i was along for the ride <laughs> and then we were talking about minecraft youtubers which again i don't know anything about but i was along for the ride baby um yeah yeah i'm also very excited for the carmen san diego season four um i didn't I'm not going to watch it tonight, but I'm going to watch it tomorrow day because I watch it with my boyfriend, Evie, because um, we started watching it together. So we need to finish it together. Um, yeah, I am uh, very scared, but I'm also excited. Uh, but I won't tell you anything about that because you're about to see a lot of content about Carmen San Diego from me and Theo. So just just hold on to your little gay seats. Just hold on to your little gay gamer seats. Um, Katie, hello. I'm at work waiting for my boss to leave. <laughs> That's so valid. Um, I hope your boss leaves soon. Um, I, I hope me saying that out loud wasn't an issue. I, I assume you, you've got it covered. Um, Stevie, sorry, Stevie just jumped on her cat tree. She really loves this specific part of the cat tree that she always licks. Um, I don't know why I asked about it at the vet, but they didn't really have any answer for me. Um, I think it's just like one of her favorite places and she likes to lick it. So yeah, I think Stevie's doing good. <laughs> um, yeah. But anyways, uh, today we are going to be using Flashpoint, which is a archival software, um, that's designed to basically be able to run any flash game or flash animation, which is pretty cool. Um, run completely by volunteers it's nonprofit, uh and they're basically just like trying to save every single flash game which i think is really cool because as you know i love flash games the question is though can my computer run an emulator a flash emulator and stream at the same time i'm really praying that it does because if not my brand is dead <laughs> no <laughs> there are other retro games we can play but i do specifically love flash games so i'm really hoping my computer can handle it because i've run other emulators while streaming like for goosebumps i was running windows 98 emulator and it, it did work it was a little slow um but also that game was 
really fucking weird. So there's a lot going on with that game just in general. So, um, yeah. Oh my gosh. Guacamulo. Guacamulo. Guacamolu. Thank you for following. That took me a while to get it. Let me know if I was right. Um, but thank you. Welcome. Um, Party in the USA is playing. Oh my God. I was listening to Spotify this morning and Miley Cyrus's new song came on and I was like, what the fuck is this? And then I turned it off. Sorry. I don't like Miley Cyrus. I do like her song though, Can't Be Tamed. Oh, bitch. I love that song. Can't be tamed. Ah, oh, great. It's a great song. Anyways. Um, oh my gosh, it's Ellie. Hello, hello. Um, I like your name. It is, uh, it evokes images of avocados. And that's nice. Do like a good avocado. Um, I saw some avocados in the grocery store today. They were frozen. That kind of scared me. I was like what the fuck um but i bet they're good i but i'm not gonna try them i don't want frozen avocados you know snoop dog has a corona commercial <laughs> it's on the tv i'm gonna assume you mean corona beer not the pandemic okay yes i i've just got confirmation that kt is talking about the beer and not the pandemic thank you um <laughs> that's good <laughs> Snoop Dogg is the new spokesperson for the COVID-19 virus. <laughs> He's making it cooler, hipper, and more exciting to get sick with the plague. Wow. That was a really dark joke. I'm sorry. Um, but that was very funny. Uh, wow. Oh my gosh. Sloops. Thank you for subscribing. They've subscribed for six months. Um, yes, this is a test stream and it is probably chaotic. So <laughs> you've come at the perfect time I'm talking about Snoop Dogg right now, but we will eventually get into the test part of the test portion of today's stream. Um, I thought he was telling people to wear masks on TV. See, that would be a very valid thing for Snoop Dogg to do. And if he did that, I would support him. I am also interested if he were to become a spokesperson for the COVID-19 virus. I think that we should we should investigate that possibility further. <laughs> I mean, COVID. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to stop. I can make these jokes because I had COVID. Um, yeah. Um, OK, I have a question. Are any of your old streams uploaded on Twitch? I tried to find them, but I wasn't able to. Twitch does this ridiculous thing where they will not host. It is ridiculous, but it's also I understand it's a business decision decision they won't host videos for affiliates which is what i am um for more than six no for more than two weeks um so but i have all of my vods i ha i have all of my streams i'm just basically sitting on them i mean not literally but i have them on my computer uh so the fact that you just said that comment encourages me to upload them because I'm like, part of me, there are two wolves inside of me, okay? There are two video editor wolves inside of me. One wolf wants to edit all of my streams before I upload them. So they're like really high quality and you don't have any like pauses or like slow moments. Like it's just the most exciting like highlights. The other video editor wolf in me is like, bro, that's way too much work. You've been doing this for six months prioritize so yeah those two wolves are constantly at odds with each other in in me um but if you have any streams that you would particularly like to see i could definitely upload those i uh i was talking to the creator of the game that we played last stream um and i think that i am that's high on my priority list to edit that video um specifically of me playing the game and uploading it to youtube because he doesn't have any playthroughs of that game um online so uh i yeah i wanted to do that anyways um i heard snoop dog is the new spokesperson for covid19 smoke weed yeah who would not listen to smoke dog telling them to home and smoke whoa Ugh. 
my brain could not handle that many words. I agree. I'm sure that Snoop Dogg wants us to all stay home and smoke weed and got to do what he tells us, Mr. Snoop. Um, and yeah, definitely I would upload them. Honestly, I'm glad that you asked that. And I was, I wasn't forced to respond, but that I did respond because it's, it's something that I've been avoiding <laughs> and it gives me anxiety because like I'm saying, these wolves are at odds, but I need to, I need to cut my, uh, cut myself some slack because i'm also like oh i should edit those streams but i'm also already making scripted edited content so it's like how am i doing that at the same time and the answer is i'm not <laughs> so nothing's getting done yeah that's just my brain yeah but that's not true i also play a lot of solitaire so i do get things done and i'm almost done with the book that i'm reading so that's exciting um <laughs> the bra wolf is correct okay valid I just upload my VODs as they are. I don't edit anything because there's one wolf inside of me who is lazy. <laughs> That's valid. Honestly, Theo, when I saw that you had made a VOD channel, I was like, I was like, this is a sign. I was like, I really need to upload my VODs as well. I was like, Theo is right in this moment. Um, and then I stopped thinking about it. But y'all are right. Y'all are right. I I'm very glad that this was brought up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's okay not to edit them because part of uh, the joys of the videos, people can fast forward or go back. That's so true. And having your full authentic self is worthwhile. Aw, that's so sweet. I totally agree, Lauren. I think, because I was thinking about that earlier, I was like, why do I stream versus making YouTube videos? Um, and I think it's because uh, I enjoy just talking um and editing is fun i enjoy video editing but it's a lot of work so it's nice to do like less edited content um so don't know where i was going with that i don't know whatever um i am the wise one just make an archive channel yeah and think about editing them down later it's very true it's very true i think there are some that I'm probably never going to upload, which includes the Arcade Spirits VODs because I really didn't like that game. And they're really long videos and I don't think anyone wants to watch that. So I'm never probably going to upload those, but there are other ones that I, I really do want to upload. So yeah, it didn't cause me anxiety. It was, it was very good. Um, me sitting here with my boss, knowing how many times. <laughs> I <laughs> smoked weed in the bathroom. That's so valid. I legally cannot make any comment on that, but that sounds like a good course of action that maybe I would consider taking. <laughs> um, but yeah. Alrighty. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I wanted to say before we got into this, but not really. I don't really know what island we're going to play. I was thinking about playing early Pop Tropica Island because that is literally super short. Um, but I don't like the plot that much. Uh, I don't know. But the other ones are, are much longer. And I'm not I'm not going to stream for like two and a half hours today. I'm, I'm like one or one and a half. So let's start with early Pop Tropica and then we'll figure it out. Um, I watch streams to fall asleep so I can guarantee I will bullshit <laughs> your retention time. I love that. Um, that's so valid. I, I also like to watch, um, streams when I'm like, uh, relaxing or like when I'm like winding down or whatever. I, I also really like to do that with podcasts though. Cause it's less green, but sometimes depending on the stream, you actually don't really need to watch it. Um, Yeah. I don't know. Uh, the game is called Arcade Spirits because I'm still haunted by it. <laughs> no, literally. I got my, like, Twitch, like, 2020 wrapped. Don't know why it was so late. Um, they kind of, like, missed the bandwagon. But, like, Twitch streamers and I think probably just Twitch users. I don't know. Maybe y'all got these, too. Uh, th like, emails of, like, 2020 in a summer area or whatever. And it said in my top three categories was Arcade Spirits. And it's just because that game took me so long to finish because I had to keep taking breaks from it. I can't believe I even finished that. So many people were like, just don't finish it. I was like, no, I have to see what happens at the end. It's like a fucking roller coaster, but not necessarily a 
good one. I don't know. I enjoyed parts of that game. I'm, I'm not going to be overly negative, but there were also some parts that I really didn't like. Um, yes, we can play WAP Island. <laughs> I'll make a custom island in Pop Tropica. Um, water slides. That's very interesting. Oh, YouTube has a wrapped. Oh, that's interesting. I never check my email that my YouTube is linked to because it's my business email. Um, it's probably not good, but anyways. Alrighty, let me switch over my screen. And the exciting thing is for this too, is that um, there are, oh, I didn't switch it over. Hold up. Okay, I'm pretty sure that there's music in this. So I have music playing right now that I control like through my uh, software. So I can turn that off if there if music starts playing, but I'm pretty sure that there's sound on this. Also, important information. The Pop Tropica that's been archived in this program that I'm accessing right now, it is as if it was from 2014. So this is old Pop Tropica. Like this is old shit. And actually looking at this intro screen, this is what I saw when I started Pop Tropica. I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is, yeah, this is old shit. I'm very excited. Uh, and also, as you can see at the bottom here, it says import data. Apparently you can import your account data uh, from like the actual Pop Tropica. I think I might do that eventually, but I also don't really care that much about it. Uh, so we're just gonna, we're gonna make a new character and we'll just fuck around. I'm not like one who cares that much about like getting all of the medals or whatever. I, meh, it's whatever. I just like the game. Um, the three genders are boy, mystery, and girl. <laughs> it's boy, <laughs> it's boy, mystery, box, and girl. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is the type of shit that you buy on eBay that's, like, mystery unboxing, but it's a child. That's dark. Does remind me of this British children's book, though, that I had um, that was about a boy that came in a tin can. Pretty sure it was called the Tin Can Boy, something like that. Very creepy. Very creepy. Um, <gasps> Molly, hello, Angel. Yeah, I also... I am in between boy and mystery <laughs> but let's let's do a girl character because our other pop tropica uh icon or avatar is a is a boy so all right Ooh, our age oh my god i forgot they used to ask this you think they're they collected like demographic data on this probably um well, that's unfortunate. If you're over 15, you actually can't play this game. Well, I guess that wraps up today's stream. <laughs> Just found out I can't play Bob Tropica. No, um, we'll go for six. Ah, shit. I should have done eight. That's a good idea, Warren. Sorry. Rip. Um... I'm not buying anything on eBay. I just watch other people unbox things on eBay, okay? <laughs> That's one of my guilty pleasure uh, videos to watch. This person is interesting. I don't want to get carried away with this because this is literally a throwaway character, but they just look very unhappy to me. So let's change them out. Oh, lizard tongue. That's kind of interesting. Oh, I don't like that. Let's do the classic. Oh, wait. This is like... Oh, okay. This is a look. This is a look. Look at that lipstick. This is very sapphic. I feel like I feel like this person looks queer. Uh, we can't be speedy. I have chronic pain. No, literally same. Um, it scares me how much these Pop Tropicans can jump. Uh, yes. It's asking me this question because I... Uh, I already had another account on this, but I don't care. So look at all of this. These are all of the islands that we can play. So if you have thoughts about what we should do in the future, depending, you know, on how this stream goes, I'm open to anything because I haven't played a good number of these. Um, 
they go chronologically, so these are the oldest islands. Um, we played Sharktooth and 24 Carat on stream, so we're not going to do that again. And Spy Island. Um, oh no, I saw your message too late, Theo. Maybe we can customize on here. I can't remember if we can or not. We'll find out. Um, oh my god, Skullduggery stream. <laughs> Yo, people keep asking me that. Maybe I'll do that for like a special, a special one. Um, Cause it does seem like people are interested in that. It would be, it would be a fucking trip. That's for sure. Um, and Lauren, yes, this is completely free. So this is, this is the oldest version of Pop Tropica. Um, and the way that, the way that I'm accessing it is actually very interesting to me. I don't know too much about it, but people literally went through the Wayback Machine on Internet Archive. They took all of the Pop Tropica game files and put it in this emulator, and that's what we're playing. So I'm not using the actual Pop Tropica website. This is all like fake. It's simulating the internet, which is like the fact that we can do that is like fucking wild. Um but if you would like to do this, it's not too difficult. Um, just use the two commands I have in my title uh, and you can get some more information. Oh, we can go to 24 karat and get hair dye. Let's do it. I forgot about that. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Theo. Yeah, Flashpoint is the um, fucking... Flashpoint is the emulator. And then Pop Tropica, like the Pop Tropica files, that requires a different process to go through. Uh, but it's not too difficult. Alrighty, look at this. This is the oldest version of uh, 24 Karat. I love it. Um, <laughs> I forgot to update the content warning. <laughs> Today's stream has mentions and discussions. Ugh. <laughs> uh, also, I hope soon, KT. I hope you get your chicken sandwich. Also, hello, Ritz. Welcome. We just started because we were we were goofing around at the beginning. Um, all right, now we can we can change our hair color. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to do pink. Ooh, look at that color. That's like a pastel pink. Wait, could make it even more pastel. Look at this. Oh, bitch. Bitch. Is this not fucking iconic? Look at this. Oh my god. I love our throwaway Pop Tropican character. They're so... Oh my gosh. They're definitely non-binary. Um, I think they're a non-binary sapphic. What do y'all say? The stream has mentions it's popular. <laughs> yeah, people are mentioning it. <laughs> um, I'm betting she'll find ridiculous but comical reasons to stay. <laughs> yeah, they're like, <laughs> she's like, she has to, I don't know, juggle something. She, I don't know, but I agree. Sounds very cartoonish. I know, Speedy Tiger, come through. Love it. Um... Yeah, I kind of wish that we could have another purple thing to match our skirt, but we may come across something like that later. Keep keep your eyes out um, for costume items that we can take because I'm very interested in, in this character. I think they look hot. They look like a hot black queer they them femme I match with on Tinder. Oh, yes, I love it you would definitely match with speedy tiger on tinder and they would never message you and you would have a dream about them or something you know that's their energy all right so we're not gonna do 24 karat uh how how is the stream going right now i feel like i think it's been going pretty good um we're in the green right now, which I was surprised. Um, so maybe we should do we should do Superpower Island um, instead of Early Pop Tropica, because again, I really don't like Early Pop Tropica. We're gonna do Superpower. 
Uh, if you jump in the lake, we'll be a WAP. Because <laughs> tigers are kind of cat. That's true. I, I, I do love that their name is Tiger. It's very cool. Um, and stream is good. Nice. Fuck yes. Bro, this is fucking great. That means that I can keep streaming Pop Tropica, which is very fun. Because I love this game. Um, oh my god, you gay bitch, Rit. You had a dream about Merlin. <laughs> were you in it? Or were you just, like, witnessing, like, something that had already happened? Or was it, like, self-insert fanfiction shit? I, I want to know. The people want to know. Um, <gasps> the pink superhero outfit. Yes, I forgot about that. I have not played this island Yo, did I fucking jinx this? This is taking ages to load. I'm sweating. I am sweating. Okay. Um, I'm just not going to look at it and maybe it'll load. Um, what was I going to say? I have not played this island in forever. Oh, thank God. God bless. All right. It looks like maybe the loading screens are long, but that's okay. That is okay. Um... My friend, my friend named his new cat Bimbo. Jesus Christ. I never dream about myself unless it's a stress dream. That's fair. Damn. Yeah. I know. I love a good self insert fanfic. Same. I, yeah, love it. All right. So what's going on here? This is county prison and a bunch of police line do not cross. And look, now we're in the lake. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oops. This is the this is the prison. All right. Well, we're going to update these uh content warnings. I did not remember that there were police in this. We're going to say police characters, no police violence from what I remember of this game. And then anybody else who is familiar with this game, let me know if you think that we should add any content warnings so we can keep our friends safe out there. Um, Merlin and Arthur kissed in a pool. Wow. Civilians aren't allowed here. Please head back to the mainland. All right. Wink, wink, wink. Fuck you. Ah, damn it. Okay. Yeah, I heard you. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, I'm leaving. Um, <laughs> I forget sometimes because <laughs> I like to, oh my God, she stole our hair color. Fuck you. But also you're kind of cute. What's up? There's been a prison break. We're all in danger. Meh. Um, not me having a dream last night about the first boy I ever had a crush on in eighth grade. Oh my God. <laughs> That's, is that a sign of something? That's very interesting. Uh, there are big rats in this island. Eh, okay. I think we should be fine. I don't know of any of my regular viewers who don't like rats. So we'll be good. All right. This is the daily paper. Meteor smashes prison walls. Mutated prisoners run free. Oh, there's a lot to unpack here. First of all, just abolish prisons. Second of all, this meteor is super powered. It's like radiated radiation. <laughs> radiated radiation. No, so it mutated the prisoners. Damn, that fucking sucks. Um, that meteor really said a cab. Yeah, <laughs> that meteor said, if you're not going to fucking abolish prisons, I will. <laughs> um... It's a sign that my subconscious brain is still recovering from the cell phone set heterosexuality. That's very valid. That's that's very fair. All right, this is a a comic shop. I think I remember this. I think that this is where you can get your little little outfits. Okay. Uh some of these oh <laughs> That dude was loading in. That's funny. Some of these comics are Power, Pony Girls, Heroes, Help, Super, and Lava Boys. Uh, I would love to meet some Lava Boys. I don't know what they are, but I'd love to meet them. All right. Who are you? Do you work here? 
This is my shop. So, you like comics? I love anything related to superheroes. Dude, this dude is really intense. Do you have anything other than comic books? I'm glad you asked. Check out this awesome handbook I wrote. All right, what did you write? The Superheroes Handbook. Everything you need to know to become a superhero. Ned Noodlehead, that's him. I've heard this name in the Pop Tropica community. This is who the guy is. All right. Um, I wrote this handbook after researching millions and millions of superhero comic books. Uh, so chapter one is the superhero ID card. Chapter two, dressed for success. Chapter three, superpower. Chapter four, the naughty villain. Chapter five, tips for defeating villains. Uh, and that's it. Okay. I'm not going to read too closely over that because I don't think it matters that much. But um, I think that that's probably... I think it'll come... Uh, I think I... Mm, I'll start over. I think that handbook will come in handy later. Excuse me. I mean, basically all that's happened so far is that we went on an island. We discovered that the prisoners broke free. And this dude gave us a how to be a superhero handbook. You know, wild guess here, but I think what we're going to do is become a superhero. Granted, it's also called Superpower Island, so. These are all just guesses. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, that was my water bottle. I'm excited that this is going so well, because that means that I can also get some other Flash games and we can play them on stream, including the American Girl Flash games. Um, we also talked about maybe reading over that American Girl book again, that um, that one about like learning your body and stuff. Uh, so that might be a cool thing to pair with, uh, with a Flash game. Thoughts? Um, that was my water bottle. <laughs> Fuck you. Be careful. There are escaped prisoners around. All right. It's very interesting that a bunch of these police are black, but whatever. Pop Tropica does this really cool thing where they try to be race blind, but then end up, um, being racist. <laughs> it's exhausting. Um, two monitors and a fart surround sound beak. <laughs> yeah, that's how I know I've made it. <laughs> I hate it. Oh my god, this guy is gay. And I kind of want that shirt. Look at this shirt. Please work. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Look at... Th Is it too much pink? Is it too much pink? What if we... Is that too much pink? I feel like we just went from, like, femme to butch, but I really like this look. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Oh, I can't take his beard. It sucks. Um... The moment you see a gay person, you steal their outfit. Basically, yeah. But Lauren says, I like our skirt. <laughs> yeah, I think that the skirt is cute. I feel like maybe the shirt isn't it, actually. I got excited because it's pink, but... I don't know. I do kind of like the idea of it being monochrome, though. Like, that is a TikTok star. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Speedy Tiger is not only queer, but they are also a TikTok star. Um, I do kind of love this, though. That's kind of cute. I don't know. You know what? We can always come back. Because this outfit is really cute. All right, let's talk to this dude. 
So you want to be a superhero, eh? Along with a new suit, you'll need the superhero ID card. Ugh, the surveillance state, state strikes again. A superhero needs a super outfit. There's plenty to choose from. Okay. This is what Theo was talking about with the, the pink. Oh my god. But wait. Pink or purple? God, I sound so fucking gay. Um, or can we customize from certain parts? Oh, nut. We can customize from certain parts. We're going to do pink and purple. Nice. Nice. Okay. Since we're using this customizer, and this is taking a while to load, um, I have to say, Pop Tropica removed this function. I found that out recently from Theo's stream, I think. Um... Oh no, our hair disappears. But anyways, yeah, so the customizer is removed, which I think is ridiculous because this is like a cornerstone of this game is like being able to make your own outfits. So frustrating. Um, I'm assuming that I probably do have to put on a a mask and it's gonna cover our hair which kind of sucks it's one thing that pop tropica doesn't do well well and i guess that won't be an issue now because the customizer doesn't exist but um for some reason like masks and hair are like the same piece on a model or <gasps> oh fuck yo this is cute as fuck oh this is cute as fuck Oh my god, uh, what the hell? Why did- this throwaway Pop Tropican is literally the cutest fucking bitch I've ever seen. Um, stream is buffering. Okay, I'm sorry. It might be- it might be my end. Um, but I love you. Thank you. Um, okay. We're gonna- we're gonna accept this. Uh... I'm actually going to take a screenshot because I really like this. Um, I have a little uh, Pop Tropica folder that I use for my favorite Pop Tropica um, screenshots. And uh, this is going straight in there. I just, I just think they're just so cute. All right, Speedy Tiger. All right, we're off to save the day. Um, okay, Maya said it on their end, it isn't buffering. Okay, thank you. Oh, God, streaming things are... Oh! Um, streaming technology is... I don't understand how it works. So, thank you for the reassurance. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got our outfit. We look really fucking cool. Um, wow. God, he looks so fucking cool. Some people in the Pop Tropical community, like, literally um, have the coolest fucking outfits. I think it's interesting because different people like different things about this game. And some people just put a lot of work in finding, like, the coolest outfits. Uh, and I understand why people do it. It's, it's definitely appealing. Oh, no. Did this crash? Fuck. Hello? Well, this doesn't bode well. Hence why I wanted to do a test stream to see if it would work. Okay. What should I do? <laughs> I don't really know how this software works either, so... Um... My... F my first thought is refresh the page. Yeah. We're gonna do that. So, to, to display this page, the browser has to send information that will repeat an action that was performed earlier. Okay, I hope that there's, like, some of our characters saved. 
Oh, God. <laughs> I'm cringing in anticipation. It's possible that it's safe, but also I, I really don't understand how this works. So... I guess that would be the good thing about playing like a, a short, uh, shorter game because then you don't necessarily need it to save. Whereas a game like Pop Tropica, it the islands take work and time for you to solve the different puzzles and stuff and get through it. So, mm, please work. This is the only way we can stay, uh, what's it called? This is the only way that we can keep playing Pop Tropica. So if this doesn't work, I, I don't know. God bless America. Not really. I fucking hate America. But this is great. Wow. Oh, my God. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I just learned that you can refresh the page and your progress will save. So that's great. Slightly annoying, um, but you know what? That's what improv comedy is about. I will just try and entertain you while things buffer. <laughs> All right, can I step into this telephone booth? I don't need to use the telephone. Okay, never mind then. The daily paper. Oh, that's the common room. I don't think that common rooms work uh, with this. Uh, if you remember... Um, common rooms are how you hang out with other players on Pop Tropica, but this isn't actually connected to the internet, so that doesn't work. Oh my god, it's an older superhero. Are you a real superhero? You better believe it, kid. I've defeated more villains than you can count. Why are you up here? Yeah. What are you doing up here? I can't keep up with all these super villains anymore. Oh, wow. That sucks. Um, yeah, we almost did go to Popsicle Joke Time, Lauren. It was, was not looking good there for a moment. Um, and no, I did not fart on stream. It was my fucking water bottle. Ugh. Fake news. All right. I want to be a superhero. There's more to it than having a suit and an ID. Talk to me after you've defeated at least five villains. Wow, you're kind of gatekeeping unnecessarily, but okay. I really went up to this bitch and said, Hi, I would like to save people. And he's like, Well, be better, and then we can talk. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Um, yeah, now this is a math game. <laughs> Damn, this is a fucking fairy police area. The prison warden and the scientist have some things for you over at the prison. What? I don't even know them. But, okay. I'll go back over, I guess. Hmm. This is a big island for uh, the fandom, I feel like. There's a lot of, like, there are a lot of creations that center around this prison. Um, so this is a pretty, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, fundamental, like, part of Pop Tropica canon for some reason. I think it's because it's so old. You're clear to go. Wow. Thanks, dude. Fuck you. Who are you? I'm the prison warden. Don't know why his voice sounds like that, but okay. What happened here? A media hit the prison and the convicts have escaped. Well, maybe you shouldn't have built the prison. Then we wouldn't have this issue, would we? <laughs> um, superpower is fundamental. Okay, I'm glad that you agree. I feel like a lot of fan fiction takes place within... Um, this prison. And also, uh, the dating sim takes place in this prison. Right? Um, okay. Tell me more about the escaped prisoners. 
Here are their profile reports. Wow. We put on a mask and he said, here's some classified information. Do whatever you want. And you know what? I will. We got our superhero ID. And we get a, it's a punch card for every villain that we've defeated. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's look at this. Uh, Cerebral. Wanted for playing mind games. Notes can dish it out, but can't take it. Okay. Crusher. Wanted for smashing bugs. Notes is easily provoked. Copycat. Wanted for illegal copying of music. Oops. Um, has multiple personalities. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't remember this villain. We'll have to see what that means. Multiple personalities. Rat man. <laughs> this is all of y'all who have rats. Rat man. Wanted for ratting on his friends. Notes. Loves playing with rats. You know what? Good for him. <gasps> Betty Jetty. I remember her. She's also pretty popular in the fandom. Wanted for flying without a license. Notes. She is an air airhead. Speeding Spike. Okay, this bitch is non-binary. <laughs> Look at this bitch. Wanted for speeding in a school zone. Oh, that's not good. Notes. Once he starts, he can't stop. Okay, that's intense. Um, the dating sim is a fictional prison. Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, maybe the true hero was the meteor all along. Yeah, the, the, the meteor literally abolished the prison. So yes. Uh, Ratman is trans. I agree. I He has big trans energy. Um, <gasps> Beep salt. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Ratman. <laughs> Honestly, out of all of them, I feel like Ratman is the most iconic. Um because he's like he didn't even do anything wrong he ratted on his friends which is like you know snitches get stitches whatever but um but he just loves playing with his rats he's just the little rat guy um copycat is a little problematic Ugh. okay maybe i will put that in the in the content warning so there may be a shitty portrayal of did um, Nick, hello! Having flashbacks to how hard this island was for 10-year-old me. No, literally, I remember the boss fight to this island. I'd be very curious to see how it is playing it now. Okay, let me update the content warning real quick. Um... Nope, that's not how you spell portrayal. All right. Is it a real content warning unless you curse in the warning? <laughs> All right. Uh, so those are the, yeah, for folks who just joined, we're just looking at the villains that we're going to have to go get. Um, who is this? What happened here? The impact for this meteor sent out the radioactive shockwave that mutated the prisoners. Oh, that sucks. So the prisoners have superpowers? Yes, you'll need the anti-power handcuffs to capture them. All right, can you give them to me, please? Thank you, thank you. Kinky? <laughs> no, just kidding. This is a kid's game. Um, all right, so I guess the police have just, like, given up on trying to do this why is this my job seems weird to me who's this guy stand back this thing isn't safe mm, i'm fine but okay <laughs> um so we now have our our mission ahead of us we need to find those super villains um yeah and i think we should probably start by going over here yeah very curious to see rat man I'm, I'm definitely most looking forward to him but i also am interested to see spike um yeah 
See, that's, yeah, that's one of the things that I, I really do like about Bob Tropica. The characters are just so weird, uh, <laughs> but they're very funny. And they're very specific. Sometimes they fall into tropes, but sometimes they're just like random shit. <laughs> um, alrighty. And this cop is holding a pretzel. What's up? Thank goodness you're here. Copycat is inside the bank and we can't catch her. Ah, oh, okay. I guess it's my job. Uh, what is this guy saying? He's crying. Please help. The bank has been robbed. Good for you, though. Uh, bank's money is usually insured, so you'll actually be fine, probably. The supervillains broke into the bank. Copycat is still in there. Okay, I got all the information I need. Let's go. What we know about her is that she copies herself. So I think that there's probably going to be, like, multiple of her in here, and we're going to have to, like, decide who's real or something. I, I slightly remember this, but not quite. This is the easiest villain fight? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I'd love to hear that. It's fairly simple. Okay, nice. Pop Tropica fucking boss fights can get really tricky for no reason. Um, so I'm glad to hear that this one isn't too bad. <laughs> Speaking specifically about astronauts, fuck that island. Hmm. Alrighty, there she is. Uh, she looks gay. Alright. I actually don't think there's a single straight person in Pop Tropica. Alrighty. We're just gonna go in here. Hello. Hee <laughs> hee, you'll have to move fast to find all of us. And let me guess, she's gonna copy herself. Well... Okay, and oh shit, is that fucking... I better hurry before I'm smoked out. Me at the sesh. <laughs> better hurry before I'm smoked out. Oh, I remember this. We just have to move fast enough. That might be a slight issue because there seems like there's a delay. Um, Like, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm moving pretty slowly. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, we should take her purple earrings. Oh my god, genius. I agree. Okay. There is a lot of smoke in here, and I am concerned that we might we might be smoked out. Shit, shit. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh god. Uh, uh, uh. What? Oh, fuck me. Okay, well. I just got all the fake ones. So, mm, I don't know what I'm doing. I need some fresh air. Okay, we can go outside. Does that, is that going to restart the whole game, though? <laughs> Yikes. I hope not. Um... There's one of the other lamp on the ceiling. Fuck. That was probably the real one. Okay. I do know what I'm doing now, so we, sh we should be fine. But ugh. but she is literally the colors of the ace flag. It's true. Um, I also agree, Lauren, about like a mercy option. So you could skip the section. So many people have never finished pop tropica islands because they're too difficult i'm speaking mostly about kids but also like young adults too i am a proponent of there being like skippable parts to video games um because there are so many reasons why that could be useful um like if there's something in it that is upsetting or triggering to you, like if there's a setting of a level that like makes you upset, then you just be able to skip it. Or, you know, if for some mobility reason you can't finish a level, you should be able to skip it. But fortunately, not many games have that. All right, copycat, I've got you this time, bro. Oh, I have to have this conversation with her again. Okay, blah, 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 blah. I've never beaten most islands. I should not be as Bob Drabica famous as I am. I'm a fraud. <laughs> That's so valid. Honestly, the response to whenever I talk about... <laughs> whenever I talk about the fact that I'm streaming an island, people are always like, 
what you've never played that before you've never finished it before i'm like damn bitch give me a break <laughs> no i haven't um so i feel you there's just like so there's so much pop tropica content that it's it's pretty difficult to be on top of all of it Okay, I think now I should be able to finish it in time. Um, video games are supposed to be fun. If you can't complete sections, it defeats the basic goal. I agree. I think one of the biggest, like, uh, what people usually say in response to that is like, oh, but it's supposed to be hard. Like, you're not trying hard enough. And it's like, if you want to, like, uh, play video games, oh, pow bitch all right copycat meets her match double trouble for copycat haha <laughs> double trouble um we did not take her earrings might not be too late though we may be teleported back to the prison and i might be able to to steal her earrings we'll see um what was i saying earlier Oh, usually that the response to making games uh, skippable is that it would make it too easy. But it's like, it's not a competition unless you want to do competitive video games, which like, go ahead. But uh, for a lot of people, that's not what they're doing. Like, I enjoy playing Pop Trap Islands uh, without knowing the answers. I think that's fun. But also, if I'm desperate enough, yeah, I will look up the answers. And I'm not, I'm not like ashamed of that, so... Um, Pop Tropica was the true Dark Souls. <laughs> Nick, why are you so right? It's it's literally true. Um, it's fucking true. Uh, I mean, some of the... I think especially the Pop Tropica stuff, I feel like all the puzzles are relatively easy, but the stuff that gets really hard is the... Um, is like the timed platforming things. Like... If you're slightly off, you're fucked. Oh my god, she's crying. I'm sorry. Thanks for your help. That copycat was a real trickster. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Can I customize from you while you're in jail? I'm so sorry. Me whispering through the bars. I'm an abolitionist. I'm sorry. Oh, thank god I can. Um... I've been watching Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo POVs all day. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that song, but I love it. Um, also, yes, Pop Tropica does need... <gasps> we can't take her earrings. Damn. I hate that. Okay. We can't take her earrings. Rip. I do want another purple accessory, though, so everyone keep your eyes out. Um, also, I know, right, Ellie, the vines screen, when I saw that for the first time, I was like, aww. Um, it's a throwback. I do actually really like that this version, this archived version of Pop Tropica is from 2014. I think it's really cool. Um, oh my god, Halo by Beyonce. That's a great song. I also remember specifically about this Vine screen is that um, I remember when I was like a kid, if I ran Pop Tropica, sometimes my computer would crash. Not the, the whole computer, but my browser would crash. I don't know why. I guess maybe it was too much for it to handle. Maybe my Wi-Fi wasn't strong enough. Uh, but... Um, I just remember you could tell that um, you could tell that Pop Tropica was gonna crash if the vines stopped growing. Uh, then, then you were in trouble. Uh, I don't know if it's just me, but stream is buffering a lot more now. Uh, yikes! I'm still in the green for my my OBS says green, but it might be that the loading screens are taking a lot of cpu so that might be why i don't know i appreciate you keeping me updated though 
Business is great today. I'm out of pretzels. Good for you, dude. Oh god, I remember these gargoyles. What is this? Oh, you have to throw the gargoyles at somebody. I remember, I think. Alright, let's ask him what's going on. Betty Jetty has flown up the skyscraper. Good luck catching her. These cops don't even try. They literally are like, yeah, you do the work. Like, damn, bitch, you're literally getting paid by taxpayers to do this. A lady in prison stripes flew past my window. Mind your business. That's what I have to say to that. All right. Um... I hope you can fly as well as that villain up there. Wait a second. I think that this might be the... I think this actually might be the boss battle. I don't think that we can do this right now. Because we can't fly. I don't know. We'll see. Catch me if you can. Yeah, I can't fly. I don't know why I thought that I could do this. Okay, nope. We're going back down. We. If I remember correctly, I think that that old superhero man that was on top of the building is the guy that gives us the ability to fly. And then we'll be able to fly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do about this loading screen, which sucks, but I guess it's a small price to pay for nostalgia. Oh, oops, didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Yeah, I think that that's part of the boss fight, not what we're doing right now. <laughs> um, okay. If I remember correctly, I think that when we go down to the subway, this might be Ratman, but... Um, I need to scurry away like a little rat right now and go to the bathroom. So um, we are going to take a short break. Uh, we're going to take a break for like two minutes. Uh, if you're a subscriber, uh, you can just chill and listen to our featured artist today, which is KT, their new single. Uh, but if you're not a subscriber, you will, uh, you'll see a two minute ad. I'm sorry. It's annoying. But also if I run an ad now, then, uh, Twitch won't randomly run ads later. So it's a it's a win-win for everybody. Um, that's my whole spiel. All right, I'm going to be back in two minutes. So stick around, maybe stretch, grab a snack, um, and then we'll come back and I will try and finish this island. So yeah, stick around. Begged me to stay, but you don't. Know that I'm better on my own And all I was trying to do was be enough But in the end I guess being enough was just too much For you, for you Stuck in my mind Was it my fault all this time? Was it on you? Don't know what to do Don't know if it matters anyway And all I was trying to do But in the end, being enough was just too much for you and me.
void in my old guitar for a month knowing you'd be in every song guess I was another just too much oh guess I'll do this alone it's my only option I know begged me to stay but you don't know that I'm better on my own and all I was trying to do was be enough but in the end I guess being enough was just too much for you for you Alrighty, we are back. My hands are slightly wet. Um, it's what's that John Molina quote? It's my hands are wet. It's I uh, just water. Whatever. I don't remember. Anyways, um, I hope everyone's break was wonderful and you got to reflect on what you may be thinking about right now. Um, I am glad that Theo's buffering stopped. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that's my little uh, be right back screen of Stevie yawning. But, um, heck yeah, I'm glad your boss left. It's a party all around. All right, let's go down to the subway and fight a rat man. And I think his rats too, actually, so rip. Um, I just washed my hands. That's why they're wet. No other reason. That's it. You read my mind. Thank you, Theo. I hear it because it's a TikTok trend right now. I hear it all the time, but I always forget it. <laughs> Let's see. Um, also, arithmetic. Sorry, I don't have that command. Um, I could add it, though, if it would be helpful. Um, I'm a sweaty bitch. That's why my hands are wet. Honestly, same. All right. Oh, we need your help on the subway train. These cops are literally useless in this game. They're usually pretty useless, but they're even worse in this. Speeding Spike has hijacked the train. He's too quick for us. Oh, it's Speeding Spike. It's it's Spike, not uh fucking Ratman. Okay, how do I get on here? Uh Oh, okay. Never mind. It's all good. Um, oh, you're not late. No worries. Uh, we've been going for hour and fifteen minutes. Um, but we talked for a little bit at the beginning, so I'm not too far in the island. This is uh, our second villain. Okay. So, oh, I remember this. So we have to run. Oh, god damn. He is fast. What? What am I supposed to do? Wait a second. I think that when he gets angry, I have to do something. Also, he's really not that fast. He's just staying in place. <laughs> like, bro. 
Oh, he slipped. Oh, and then... Oh, that was it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you're going to jail. Um, um, yes, we are going to talk about that. Yeah. But police as incompetent as a plot moving device. So fucking true. Um, also, <laughs> the NRA just filed for bankruptcy. <laughs> That's amazing. But also does not surprise me. Because, like, what are they making money from? Well, memberships, I assume, but... Wow. Honestly, good. They're fucking trash. <sighs> There's so many people in that organization that are fucking school shooter deniers. It's not cute. It's not cute. That spike minigame was super easy. I didn't even know what I was doing, and I caught it. Um, I think I like the copycat one more. If we're rating the villain mini games, tier list the villain mini games on Superpower Island. Honestly, I probably would do that, but yeah, I got some. Uh, I was thinking about this when I went to the bathroom. I got some red bean buns from the Asian market. God, I fucking love those so much. I can't wait. I'm probably gonna have one for dessert tonight. Very nice. Yeah. Does anyone have any exciting plans for tonight or the weekend in general? I know that a lot of people are on break, though, so the weekend doesn't mean much. But maybe get a break from work? I don't know. Anything exciting happening? What am I doing this weekend? Um. Oh, Saturday I'm streaming uh, again. Oh, okay. He's in jail. Damn. It's fucking sad. I feel bad for putting them in jail. <laughs> um, speeding Spike wasn't fast enough to outrun you. Yeah, that's true. I got him. All right, let's go. Get the other, the other baddies. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, tomorrow I am actually super related to this game. Um, I am playing a evil villain dating simulator that's gay so very exciting i'm looking forward to that it's called lovingly evil um I'm celebrating my birthday oh heck yeah that's fucking exciting do you have any specific plans not to put you on the spot no pressure um to answer but that's exciting my birthday is a month i have no idea what i'm gonna do um <laughs> Birthdays are, yeah, planning for a birthday is hard because it's always like, it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one who feels that way, but. um, Yeah. What was I going to say? Oh, also Carmen season four. I know. I will. Uh, my watch party is tomorrow. I'm curious to see how much Evie and I will watch in one go. Very likely that we'll watch the like half of it in one go because that's how we started watching carmen san diego we just like fucking we were obsessed with it uh it really does hook you in oh, god that show is so good also the art is so beautiful mm, love it all right oh who is this none of the characters <laughs> the outfits weren't loading in nothing like a good hot dog during a crisis Oh, thank you. Wow, that's so kind. He gave us a hot dog. I need some backup here. Just watch out for flying rocks. Yeah, you need some backup. You need someone to do your job for you. I know. Oh, I'm pretty sure the way that this works is that I need to, like, throw the rock back at him or something like that. I seem to remember this. Ah, shit. Yeah, I think that I have to... Uh... I don't quite remember. I do not quite remember. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing right now? Ah, shit. Let me, let me experiment here. So he's gonna, here's the, oh, damn it. 
Oh, wait a second. I can move this. Huh. Why would I move that? Are there other things that I can move? This is interesting. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so we can move this one rock. Is that so that I can jump up easier, perhaps? Perhaps. Who am I? Okay, one sec. So... Can you please throw a rock at yourself? Please just make this easy on me. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Um, <laughs> taking knife picks. Oh my gosh. I love the I love the uh, trend of kitchen utensil selfies in the Discord. It makes me very happy. It's just so good to see kids appreciating. Yeah, bitch. Oh, I have to do that multiple times. Oh god, damn, bitch. Uh, no, I was gonna say, it's just so good to see kids appreciating. Oh, that's what that rock is for. Can I finish a thought? Challenge. James, finish a thought. Um, it's so good to see kids appreciating knifeware. Or silverware. That's what I was gonna say. Anyhow. Uh, I need to put this rock on a little thing so he can... Uh, accidentally hit himself. Oh, it just missed him. Damn. He doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, chicken sandwich is here. Hell yeah. Oh, I hit him. Nice. Alright, sorry dude. Who's this guy? Don't remember. This was... Oh, Cerebral. Um... Staying in my little bottle bubble, but I get to pick out a bottle of wine. Heck yeah, because it's my 21st. Nice. Yeah, it'll be my 21st too in uh, February. Heck yeah. I don't drink though, so I think 21 doesn't really mean much, but that's okay. It is. I think 21 is the age for recreational. Uh, I was going to say marijuana. What? Recreational weed, but I don't live in a state where it's recreational, so okay um also you're not wrong lauren all i'm saying is if you're gonna put police in the in the game at least have them be useful <laughs> because why would pop tropica be ke uh, keeping these police around if they can't do their jobs Ugh. wild they can't do their jobs, but also we're supposed to respect them and follow their orders. I think not. No, thank you. All right, we've gotten three villains down. There's two to go. Uh, wait, is that it? There's only five villains? I think so. I'll have to double check if this ever loads again. Go bigger, go home and make the vodka cram. Mm, cranberry juice. Ooh, I made some orange and cranberry muffins yesterday. They were really good. God, I fucking love cranberries. They're great. Okay. God, he's crying. Okay. The fact that they make you start over from the beginning, it fucking sucks. I have to walk all the way over there again. <laughs> that's like... <laughs> uh, that's gonna require the most effort out of all of this island. Okay. Um, cram that berry into my open garage. <laughs> wow. Poetry. Absolute poetry. <laughs> I love that emote. Thank you, Theo. God. That, literally, that emote took me like hours to make. And have I continued to make digital art after it? Nope. But it was fun. <laughs> Um, I do need to make some art for my new video, though, which is exciting. Um, I'm going to try and use some collages of archival images from circuses, so that should be interesting. I don't know, we'll see. I'm trying to get more into digital collage, because I don't really do that that often. 
I did make one based off of um, a role-playing game I was in, though, on the Knights of the Band Town, which was fun. Uh, young me really spent an entire week on this island, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's funny because Pop Tropica can really be played by so many people of different ages because, I mean, for a fucking seven year olds, I can imagine this would take ages, but, um, I am a 20 year old, so <laughs> it's not too bad. But that is not to say other islands don't, uh, other islands aren't really fucking hard. Honestly, I feel like this one may be one of the easiest times that I've ever had with an island. Because there are other ones that I've really struggled with. Okay. Uh, that's Crusher, I'm assuming. Thank goodness you're here. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I know. I'm doing your job for you. We're no match for Crusher. Okay. I think what we're going to have to do is probably crush him. Just a wild guess. So... Where is he? Oh, hello. What is he doing? Oh, Jess and Mary's Bakery. Sounds gay. Um, how do I get back up there? Okay. Um, and also, what is he doing? What is he doing? Crusher, talk to me. You don't have to use violence. Um... Oh, I remember this. I remember this. I need to climb. Oh my god, this is hard. But I know what I, I know what I have to do. I need to climb up there and uh, crush him, because I feel like this whole island is about uh, like uh, using the supervillains' powers against them. So, look. I just fucking killed that dude. Oh! Shit, never mind. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna... He is throwing oil cans at me. <laughs> this is really dangerous. I'm probably covered in oil right now. Ouch. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Shit. Um, is there anything over here that I can... Nope. Weirdly enough, I think that I may have to climb back up that thing again. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, can I jump up here? Okay. Nope. Fuck me. Keep getting hit. Oh, and I keep falling off. Oh, okay. Honestly, though, maybe maybe this is what you spent a week on, Nick. Maybe this is what took you so long. <laughs> because I'm... Fuck! I am struggling. God, the level design for this is, uh... Fucking brutal! This is brutal. Okay, 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 okay. I'm... Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. Hoo, boy. Hoo, boy. Shit! Fuck, fuck. No, uh-uh. You're not gonna stop me this time, Crusher. Ooh, just crushed him again. Jesus. Sorry, dude. God, I feel like an asshole. Okay. Uh, react to the meme that Osei just sent us. Yes. One sec. Let me see here. This is going to take forever to load, so I will look at it during our, our favorite loading screen. All right. Yeah, you're going to jail. Be me, 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 me. Um, and Emily, hello. Yeah. Old ass James, 20 years old. <laughs> um, Crusher breaks down. Oh, poor Crusher. F. Um, Pop Tropicans are made of rubber. Ugh. Ugh. That's disgusting, but also you're not wrong. You're not wrong. All right, let me see. <gasps> oh my God. Me and my fellow homosexuals meeting up for iced coffee in December. In December. Oh my god. Uh, look at this. Is that 
showing up. Hold up. Let me check my little... Yes, here we go. Look at that. <laughs> Ooh, my stream is struggling. Oh, it's buffering. It's because this loading screen. Ooh. Okay, well, let's just pretend that nothing is wrong. Um, I love this image. I'm definitely like Gonzo. Uh, I love Gonzo. I feel like that's my joke. Um, also, Frank, hello, Angel, welcome! We're just talking about Muppets. <laughs> um, but also Pop Tropica. Um, yeah, I hate the idea that Pop Tropicans are made out of rubber. That's so gross. Does that mean that they're just, like, very slippery when you hold them? Blech. <sighs> I know, Twitch is, uh... Okay, it should be good now. Uh, yeah, it looks like every time I do that loading screen, it fucking buffers. <sighs> That's really frustrating. But then y'all have said in between the buffering, though, it's good, right? Because I'm... I don't know. I wonder if I could do anything about it. And I'm, but I'm also wondering if it's not too bad that we could just go along with it. I don't know. I'm open. I'm open for feedback. Because uh, again, this is a test to see if this works. I think Pop Tropica is a really big game, so that's probably why my computer is struggling with it. Ugh. Uh, I sent the video about it on Discord. <laughs> okay, nice. Um, oh, thank you, Emily. I love Pop Trafficin. Her name is Speedy Tiger. They're non-binary. They're sapphic. I just love their whole vibe. I love it. Pink and purple is our like color combination. Our color inspiration for our Pop Trafficin. It's definitely slower than other streams, but it's watchable. Okay. Okay. Valid. That's yeah, that's what I was wondering cuz I don't usually have that much buffering in my streams, but also sometimes I do depending on what I do. My computer's a tiny boy. It's pretty tiny. Um but it would be so expensive to upgrade, so I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. But if there are solutions, I will seek them out. So I'm wondering if there's anything that I can do to make my computer faster. Could also, I don't know, maybe I could ask in the Discord for Flashpoint. Because <laughs> Flashpoint has um, a Discord server. So I'm wondering, maybe, maybe some people will have some suggestions. Very new to the software. I I still am figuring it out, so um, maybe there's some settings that I can tweak to have it run smoother. Because I would really like to use this program, because um, it's it's perfect. Alrighty, and I have to say, if you're playing, if any of you like try Flashpoint and play. Uh, Pop Tropica, it will run smoother than what's running on my computer because my computer is also, you know, fucking streaming at the same time. Okay, who are we missing? We're missing Ratman and Betty Jetty. Where is Ratman? I thought that we could continue going this way, but I don't think that we can, actually. So, yikes. Can we? No, we can't. All right, so we're going to have to go back. Um, hmm. If I were a rat, where would I be? In a hat with a cat. No. 
<laughs> I just wanted to rhyme. That wouldn't make any sense, actually. That would be dangerous for me as a rat. Um, I, I could have sworn they were in the subway when I played it. So, oh shit, we can go into the bathroom. Hold up, let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> Yay, go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's so exciting. Um, I mean, I can't think of many... Oh, yes! Okay, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. I can't think of many games, video games, where you can go to bathrooms. I feel like that's pretty few and far between. I'm pretty sure, though, that there is a video game where you have to go to the bathroom. Um, and... To, like, help you survive or something? I don't really remember. Uh, turn back now. Oh, okay. Alrighty. <laughs> Draining this is reminding me of another game that I'm playing right now. Bendy and the Ink Machine. Bitch. Bendy and the Ink Machine is a fucking trip. Um, no spoilers. But I'm halfway through it, I think. Um... I just like couldn't stop playing last night. Uh, it's very frightening and I did gasp a lot, but it was very fun. Um, and I'm just very interested in the plot. Okay, oops. This seems weird that I would do that. Why would I do that? What am I doing? What is going on right now? Oh shit, I need to get up there. Hold up. Can I press this? I don't know what I'm doing. Um, oh, the Sims, true. Point and click bathroom escape? What the fuck? Honestly though, knowing what I know about Ritz point and click affinity or affinity for point and clicks, that would make sense. Because we played a point and click escape one time on stream and then I gave up, remember? Because I got too frustrated. <laughs> Here's Ratman! You found me? Well, let's see how you like my little friends. Gave him a slight accent because his mustache. Um, oh, fuck yeah, Theo. Have you played Benny and the Ink Machine? Because that... I I'm a little late to the game. I just bought it on sale. Um, for the, the Steam sale, but... It's good shit. It is good shit. I got a little motion sick while I was playing it, though, so I had to tweak the settings. That's my only complaint so far, but... Ah, fuck. I fell. Um, I love you went country, even though it's clearly making fun of the French. Really? Ratman? Wait, let me see this. Let me see this man again. Just up here, right? Oh, he stinged me. Or he stung me. Whatever. English is fake. Um, damn. So not only does he have rats, but he also has flies. That sting. That's so cruel. He's just weaponized all of these animals against me. Probably against their will, too. That's not very kind. All right. We're gonna... Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that wasn't even that hard. Damn. Yeah, I'm not trying to jinx it or anything, but... Oh, shit. Are they following me? No, I'm fine. Uh, I'm not trying to jinx it or anything, but this island has been really easy. Ratman is caged. Criminal career goes down the drain. Sorry, bro. Um, he's watching Stripe and the mustache, and the French are stinky. Oh, um, true. That doesn't make sense, actually. Huh. Yeah, makes sense. Um, I've never played it. I just watched Game Theory play it back in the day. Tempted to go rewatch their playthrough now. I can imagine it would be fun to watch somebody play through it because there are, like, jump scares or whatever. And I'm not usually one for jump scares. Um... Like, I, I don't like them, uh, but 
the jump scares haven't been too bad in the game so far. I know that it gets scarier, so I'm a little worried about that, but I'll deal with it when I deal with it, you know? Um, embarrassingly enough, though, I... So I didn't know anything about Bendy and the Ink Machine. Like, I just knew that it was a game. Um, and then I've heard a lot of songs about it, like video game songs. I love the video game parody songs. I think they're so good. Like, I literally love them not ironically. Um, and there are a lot of songs about Bendy and the Ink Machine. And they're usually pretty good. So I've heard those songs and I was like, I'm going to play a game. And I got it for like $3 or something. Um, I can't do horror games on my own. I always watch others play them. That's very fair. I was playing it last night and then someone knocked on my door and like I gasped really intensely uh so took it to heart okay thanks to you the rat man is caged again okay we only have one villain left and that's betty jetty but in order to do that we need to be able to fly and in order to fly we need to talk to the old man on top of the building sounds like i'm making it up oh the telephone is ringing. Hello? Oops. <gasps> what is going on? Oh, now I can fly. <laughs> cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> that Wow, I just, I literally answered the call and I could fly. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Thanks, dude. I assume that he gave me this power, but I'm, I'm not quite sure. Either way, thank you. I will be flying now, except I need to land. I'm um, just going to go down, downtown. Um, yeah. Minecraft cave sounds jump scare me. <laughs> That's so valid. God, I love caving in Minecraft, but it also terrifies me. Um, oh my gosh, Emily's told me this before, that she hates the zombie noise. <laughs> That's so fair. It is quite frightening, especially when there are, like, tons of them. Mm -mm, hate it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, the only thing about horror games I'll say is that the only thing, as if I haven't just been talking about them. No, the thing that I will say about horror games is that um, I love Bioshock, which is technically a horror game, but I don't feel like it's that horror-y. Um, and so since I played that game a lot, I was like, you know what? If I can play Bioshock, I can play... Um, I can play Bendy in the Ink Machine. I will say, though, I think there's, like, a hospital level in Bendy in the Ink Machine, and that's not cute. I really don't like that. Don't fuck with horror medical stuff, because I have been in real-life horrific medical settings. So, um... Uh, it froze again. That's okay. Um... What's it called? Yeah, I don't like medical settings for horror films. I also find them really... Or films or games or whatever. It's very exploitative. It's not cute. Um, but yeah, playing at night, yeah, definitely. Definitely does not help. Alright. Catch you if you can. Oh, I will catch you if I can. That remains to be seen, though. Alrighty, let's go. Where are you? Okay, this is like a little flying mini game. Oops, oh my god. Hands on keyboard. Um She's that classic oh okay. She's that classic yellow pop tropica color. They don't do that anymore, but that used to be very common. Um, oh, shit. If I get whacked too many times, then I fall, I do believe. Don't 
don't jinx it, James. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Um, I guess it's kind of like the Simpsons. They also started off super yellow. Well, they still are yellow. The Simpsons are still yellow. Sorry. Um, but a lot of the characters on the show aren't anymore. Uh, especially like the guest stars or whatever. I think I saw someone say a cheat for this is you can fly off the screen. <laughs> and uh, I think that's working for me right now. Shit, shit. Okay, how much longer is this? Betty, I'm getting tired. <laughs> Betty, come on. Come on, Betty. Betty, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Come down with me. It's going to take more than that just to stop me. It'll take more than that to stop me. <laughs> Your trusty sidekick has arrived. Oh my god, Ned. Wow, thanks, Ned. All right, I got her. Oh my god, Ned Noodlehead saves the day. Bitch. Well, he did help, but still. God, way to really take the credit. <laughs> that was me fly in the air. Thank you very much. So it's just like the fucking river sticks. It is. God, that was so awful. That was quite possibly one of the worst mini games I've ever played. I hated that. Oh, God, that was. Yeah, that was bad. Very bad. Um. <laughs> wow. Wow. I played it just in time because, uh, you can't. I don't think that you can access it now. Or, or wait. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But there are some islands that you can't access at all right now because they weren't archived in this version of Pop Tropica, which includes Monster Carnival, which makes me sad because that's my favorite island. But, um, I really wanted to film a playthrough of me playing Monster Carnival because I think it's such an interesting island, but I don't know how I'll do that now. I have seen some people say, though, that you can get old versions of browsers and still use Flash on them. Try to do that. Um, we'll see. Alright, this is uh, gonna keep loading, I guess. I think we're done, though. I think that this is the end of the island, if I remember correctly. If it ever finishes. Yes, okay. Here we go. They're all in their little cells. Sorry about that again, everybody. I really didn't wish that on you. The villains are all back behind bars. Thanks to Ned Noodlehead. Oh, and you. Wow. Fuck you, dude. I just did all that work. I gave the island medallion to our hero, Ned Noodlehead. What? What the fuck? Okay, well, you know what? That was really rude of you, dude. I guess we're gonna have to go harass Ned to give us that. Metal. <laughs> That's funny, though. I don't think that that was, that was ever a thing on any other islands. Usually you just straight up get the metal once you finished, but... <laughs> this is funny. Okay. Ned, where are you? Have you seen my name in the papers? I'm a real hero now. But I need to look after my comic shop. So I'd be willing to trade this medallion for a good hot dog. Here's a hot dog. Oh boy, the medallion is all yours. <laughs> okay. All right, Speedy Tiger, we did it. Well, let's put on our medallion. Yay, we did it. Um, and we looked real damn cute while we did it, too. Honestly, this is such an iconic outfit. I already took a screenshot. I will be posting it so everybody can appreciate it. Um, but I think we're I think we're good now. Um, I don't know if I can save in this. 
I'll figure it out later. Actually, I don't think that I can save. Anyhow. Um. Yeah. All right. Let me switch scenes. Alrighty. Um. I just want to thank everybody for uh, coming to fucking hang out on a last minute bonus stream. I appreciate it. I'm always worried that, you know, people won't come on a bonus stream because it's outside of my schedule. But, uh. I appreciate it. I had a good time. Um, and I think, I don't know, I'm still open to hearing people's feedback, but I, f I feel like this works. I think that Flashpoint definitely does work. Pop Tropica is pretty slow on it. Um, and my stream was slow, a little slower than usual, but I don't know if people are open to it. I, I might continue doing it this way. Um, and I think that Flashpoint will work better with smaller games, uh, smaller, shorter games, which I also will throw in there. Um, so, yeah, as always, if you remember a Flash game that you'd really like to see um, and you want to revisit with us, let me know. And I can see if it's covered by Flashpoint. They have like something like 3,000 uh, games that you can use or that you can, that you can use, that you can play. So, um, you know that will sustain this channel for years. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> Ned's voice was fucking annoying, but thank you. Um, yes. The speedy tiger is the baddest bitch on the pop trop. <laughs> Completely agree. Um, yeah, it is a lot of games. I can't believe it. They've been archiving since 2016 though. So I guess that's why they've been able to do so many, but damn. They have a shit ton of PBS games too, which I really like. So we're definitely gonna, we're definitely going to try those. Um, <gasps> Pug Taco, hello, bro. Um, yeah, plenty to choose from. Um, it's actually, there are so many games that if you search through it, it will take your computer like a minute or two to load the entire screen. Uh, Cause it's on like a wiki page. It's hosted on a wiki page and uh, it's very slow. But anyways, um, I think that's it. So let's, uh, let's wrap up today's stream the way that we always do, which is with a popsicle joke. Um, if you're new here or maybe you forgot, it's been a while. You're like, what the fuck is going on right now? Let me explain. Let me, let me soothe your mind. The popsicle joke is how we end every stream because it's nice to end sometimes heavy streams um, or long ones on a nice little light note. And this tradition started when I first started streaming because I would share little jokes that I'd read on popsicle sticks. And then I decided, let's just keep it going. So sometimes I write the jokes. Sometimes I get them from my friends. Sometimes they're suggested. Um, sometimes I steal them from the internet. But today I have a joke from my friend Claire that I will be sharing. So we can't do the popsicle joke corner here. We have to go to the popsicle joke corner. So here we are. We are now in the popsicle joke corner. <laughs> um, try to come up with funny ways to get into the joke corner, but sometimes they're funnier than others. Anyways, um, but yeah, if you're a subscriber, you get access to this fucking emote which Theo has in the chat it is a popsicle that I drew so you know if you want to be able to use that it's $4.99 a month or free with Amazon Prime so um today's joke is I need to get out my uh hold up I need to get my soundboard up um I have a soundboard website that I use for this okay so today's joke is about non-binary people um because we love non-binary people here on the channel um and uh, what is the joke okay so why are non-binary people so disorganized because they don't have agenda I think that that one is really funny. Uh, so when Claire told me that joke, I was like, I immediately need to put it on my stream. Um, also, they're a lovely person that I play D&D &D with. So uh, shout out to Claire. Love them. Um, 
yeah, so that was today's joke. Um, I also am a non-binary person without an agenda. I am currently in between agendas because I'm making one. Really need to get on top of that. Anyways, uh, I will catch you all tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be streaming at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, the game Lovingly Evil, which is a villain dating sim. We're going to meet five, six different villains and date one of them. Or maybe multiple. I'm not sure. Uh, Satan is in that game. There's also a vampire. There's also the evil godmother, who's like a milf. So there's something for everybody here in this community, I think. Anyways, um, I will catch you all later. Have a wonderful night. Stay safe. 